Hi everybody, it's Andy again from EasySoft Limited here. I just want to show you something quick today, and this that is how we get data from SQL Server into Oracle. Now for this we're going to be accessing SQL Server 2014 from Oracle 12, and that's how we're going to get the data across. This could quite easily be done with any SQL Server version from 2008 and any Oracle version from 11.2. The configuration process is exactly the same. You can obviously get data access to uh, SQL Server prior to 2008 and the Oracle um, prior to version 11.2 but you'll need a slightly different configuration to what I'm going to show you now. The plan is to, once we've done that, is to add more data to SQL Server table and show you the new data coming back into Oracle. So to start off you just need to um, make sure you've got access to your SQL Server and Oracle databases. You'll also need the EasySoft SQL Server ODBC driver which is available from easysoft.com. Just download it, install it and request a free 14 day trial license. So before we start we just need to make sure that some of the changes to the standard EasySoft files have been made. So uh, I could view those. ODBC, the ODBC.ini file. Okay, as you can see here, Mars connection has been changed to yes, and it must be set to yes if you connect into a SQL Server version 2005 or newer. Now, EasySoft supports all SQL data types from SQL Server version 7. Oracle supports data types that are common to most ODBC drivers, but not some of the SQL Server ones. So if you intend to do something like Varchars Max, for example, then there's some additional settings that you need to make sure are set up. I'd like to demonstrate um, to you Varchar Max data moving from SQL Server to Oracle, so I've made a relevant change here. Varchar Max as long has been set to yes. So that's all I've done there. Now we need to create a link from the Oracle's uh, database gateway, the DG4 ODBC, to the Oracle data source that we have already set up in SQL Server. Now this is done from the initSID Oracle file, so let's just take a little look at our file. Okay, here you can just see that the HS NLS NCHARS is set to uh, UCS2. Now Oracle assumes that most database, database vendors use UTF-8 for wide characters. However, EasySoft, like almost all other ODBC driver vendors, including Oracle's own ODBC driver, actually uses UCS2 for wide characters. So if you want it to work correctly, ensure that that says UCS2 in there. So that's the link check between GG4 ODBC and the data source, so we've checked that and that's all set up correctly. Now we need to take a, a look at the listener entry. So that's listener.ora. Okay, um, the program equals just is, is just showing is just telling the listener that I'm going to be using the Oracle database gateway to communicate with uh, ODBC. The ENVS uh, LD library uh, just tells Oracle what uh, library to load. So that's all set up and OK. We now need to tell Oracle which server to attach the listener entry to. Uh, this is done in the tnsnames.ora file. So let's take a look at that now. Yes. Okay, and everything there is set up fine. There's not a problem there. So that that was all. That's all been set up uh, fine. No problem there. We now need to um, stop and restart the listener just to make sure that any changes we have made have been picked up okay. So I shall stop the listener and I'll now restart the listener. There you go, the command's completed successfully. Okay, so that's now restarted the listener up again. So we've already ensured that the configura configuration files are set up correctly. Uh, the listener and TNS names or files are both set up okay. The final step is to create a link from the Oracle database to the TNS names to Aura entry. So to do that, let's uh, sign on to SQL Server Plus. Uh, 
Uh, that is probably my typing error. Hmm. Let me just start that again. Ah, there you go. It's obviously a human error. I do apologise for that. Uh, I just need to now create a uh, create the public database link uh, inside Oracle. There you go. So that's the command that you want to uh, run. Right. Okay. It looks like it's already been done before. Uh, so there's a duplicate entry in there, but everything is running fine I'm I'm happy with that okay let's access the data in SQL Server now this will make sure that everything is hopefully set up okay there you go and that is from the that's from uh, data from SQL Server from the table called a demo there's just one contact piece of information in there which is uh, my name and uh, just on that command like I said the demo's name of the SQL Server and ODBC is the public database link name that we've uh, created um, so if I just go now if I just quit from Oracle and if I go into um, by now just go into SQL Server insert into demo which is the name of the table that I've got set up so these values so I'll enter another row Uh, what we got here could not. Uh, that's because again, that's a, a typo from my perspective. So I do apologise for that. Insert into demo values to. There you go, so that's returned that OK. I can just check that is working. Yep, yeah, so I've now got the two, so I'm in SQL Server and I've now proved that I've got the two rows in there the one with my name and one with the name of EasySoft. So they're working fine. I just need to go now back into. It's not going to work, is it? That's better. Unix ODBC bin isql dot sh v sql Server. So I'm now back in um, back in SQL Server, which I didn't mean to do because I've already checked SQL Server. So I'm now back in Oracle, and if I do select start from demo which is name of the table odbc semicolon there so i've now gone back into oracle and seen the data data coming back and then there's new data you've seen that a few little uh human errors in there which i apologize for but it's a live demo so you um unfortunately expect sometimes these things to go wrong but there we have it uh we've set up uh we set up a originally set up a table in sql server called demo 
we made sure all the configuration files were correct and all the links were correct. We've gone into Oracle, we've proved that works, we've entered new data into SQL Server, uh, into the SQL Server table, and we've gone and just shown there the new data coming across from SQL Server into Oracle. So there you go, EasySoft Limited can help you with your data access. For our full range of ODBC and JDBC drivers, bridges and gateways, just visit easysoft.com. Now be sure to let us know if you have any comments or questions about what you've seen today or anything else about data access. Until next time, thanks again and we'll see you again very soon.